I'm Deb Miller. I'm one of the owners of Blackhawk Winery. My husband, John, is our winemaker. We opened the winery about seven years ago. Um, started planting our vines about nine years ago, so we've been working on this for quite a while. But yeah, the tasting room here was opened about seven years ago. Uh, John's an amateur beer and winemaker, so we call this the hobby that got out of control. Um, he really enjoys making wine and um, making dry wines in particular. And um, when we moved here from Oregon and bought all this acreage, we thought we dreamed about opening a winery at some point, so let's go ahead and do it. So started planting vineyards and started making our plans and seven years later, here we are. So we specialize in French American hybrids. So these are grapes that grow in the, this geographic area. So not your Merlot, your Cab, the Vinifera that you grow on the, on the West Coast or in France or Italy. Um, you'll see wines like Norton and Catawba and Marshall Foch on our list because these are grape varietals that are cold hardy and so they grow around here. Um, we make a wide variety of wines. We have, like I said, he likes making dry wines, but we have everything from dry to sweet, red and white, fruit wines, um, we have sparkling wines. We have a number of estate wines too because we also have 10 acres of vineyards here. So we're growing about 15 different varietals on the property itself. So we have at least four estate wines right now and that number goes up and down depending on what's, what's available from last year's harvest. We started planting the vineyard in 2011 and we started off with about five acres of vines and six different varietals. Um, that vineyard is producing really, really well now. About three years ago, we planted an additional um, five acres of vines. The vines take about five years before they're mature enough to start producing fruit for us to use. So this year is going to be our first harvest out of that newer vineyard. So um, we own 30 acres, 10 of it is in vines. So we've got lots of room to spread out here and have, have parties and concerts and fun things like that. Um, but the vines just make it the place look very beautiful too, so yeah. In the summer, between Memorial Day and Labor Day, every Friday night we have a free concert out on the lawn. Um, no charge, we have food trucks, you can just come bring your lawn chair and enjoy the music with us. Uh, we do other special events. Uh, annually we do an adult Easter egg hunt where you can go search for uh, eggs out in the vineyard and earn prizes for the, the eggs that you bring back. It's, it's a fun event every year. Um, we uh, have ha hosted 5Ks out here in the past too, so you could come and run and then have a glass of wine at the end of your, of your 5K. Um, we do trivia, we've done bingo, we do a lot of different things. So it's worth checking out our website to see what's going on because there's frequently a lot of stuff going on out here at Blackhawk Winery. So we get tour buses on a fairly regular basis. Um, some of the smaller ones like Top Shelf, we enjoy having them come here. Uh, we set everybody up with, we, we set people up um, at a table, usually because there's a larger group, so it's a little harder to be at the bar. Uh, but we'll do t private tastings with, a, with that tour group. So you get a really nice experience with somebody, one of our um, staff members who really knows the wines and who'll walk you through all the different kinds. For our tastings, we usually do uh, five tastings for about $5 is our usual cost, but we work with um, different groups. And, and I say I'm horrible at counting, so we don't ever say five and then you're done. Once we opened, we started uh, sending our wines to various wine competitions in New York and Indiana and some other locations. And um, we've been very, very fortunate to have gotten a lot of medals for those wines, um, including some best in class. One of our dry white wines uh, was awarded a best in class award at the Indy International uh, Wine Competition a couple of years ago. So we're very proud about that. One wine that we're particularly proud of, because we're the only ones who make it in the world, um, is the wine called our Sheridan wine. Uh, so Sheridan is a grape varietal and it's related to Concord and Niagara. So again, it's an American varietal. Um, we planted it because we thought we were going to be using that as our Concord style wine. But when we brought it in, we had no idea what we were gonna get out of it. So the first time he worked with it as um, in the winemaking process, we just kind of let it do what it wanted to do. And it makes a beautiful rosé that is very similar to a white Zinfandel with a lot of um, more fruit flavors to it. So some strawberry and watermelon. So like a really fruity 
white Zin, but that's a wine you're not gonna get any place other than here, because we're the only ones growing that grape and making wine out of it. So that's very, a, very unique, um, a very unique wine that we're really proud of. Um, two of our best sellers are our Concord, um, which is called Little Brother Red. That one's one of our top sellers. But our other top seller is our lemon wine. Uh, which was going to be a seasonal offering, but it was so popular, we've kept it on all year round. Um, it's made completely with lemon juice, no grape in there at all, no flavoring. He starts with lemon juice, ferments the lemon juice, 100% lemon. It's an amazing wine, very refreshing on a hot day. We own 30 acres out here and we have a small hobby farm. So uh, the list of animals we don't have is probably shorter than the list of animals that we do have. Um, but when you come and sit on our lawn and enjoy our patio, you'll probably be greeted by chickens and barn cats who will come over and say hi. Um, there's turkeys and waterfowl wandering around. We have horses in the pasture. Uh, we're raising sheep because the sheep are going to help us take care of the vineyards, uh, go out there and eat the weeds down for us and fertilize the vineyard at the same time. So yeah, we have a lot of, there's a lot of animals going wandering around here on the property makes it makes it fun makes it fun for families uh, kids in particular enjoy feeding the chickens and we'll help them out with that when they come visit <laughs> we definitely can do tours of our production space uh, you can definitely wander out to any of the vineyards that we have some of them are closer to and easier to walk to and take pictures in others of them are a little bit more of a hike um, but just as beautiful to go visit. But yeah, everybody's welcome to wander the property and explore the, explore the vineyards, say hi to the horses, all that kind of fun stuff. We love to have people come out and enjoy our wonderful winery and find your new favorite wine and we think wine is to be enjoyed, period. That's the Blackhawk Winery. Hi, I'm Rob Zajac, owner of Top Shelf Tours. If you like this winery, check out our website, topshelf.tours. Schedule an afternoon of wine tasting with all your friends at wineries just like this one.